everyone, welcome to this video we've put together to go through the uniform requirements for Downham Market Academy and I'll also explain how you measure your child to get the correct fit. This is the uniform for the, uh, this is the video for the general uniform, however you will also see a video for the PE uniform on the same side. So to just go through the uniform requirements, for girls they will need a button up white blouse, a house coloured tie, there are four houses so you do need to make sure you know what house your child is going into and you will see these houses on the website. A navy down the market blazer and girls can wear a grey straight skirt or grey trousers. For boys it's a button up white shirt, again one of the house colour ties, a navy blazer and grey trousers. There is also a v-neck knitted navy jumper as you can see on the mannequin here that both boys and girls can wear under the blazer and over the shirt. So I'm just going to explain how you measure your child to get the correct fit. The blazers are measured in chest sizes in inches. So to take this measurement, you will need a tape measure. And you just going to need to take this under your child's arms. I'm going to show you how to do this over the blazer, because obviously you wouldn't need to take the measurement without the blazer on. So take this under the arms. It needs to go across the chest at the fullest part. And this will give you the chest size in inches. Girls' blouses are also measured in chest sizes. However, boys' shirts are measured in collar sizes in inches. So to take this measurement, you just need to take the tape measure around the neck and this will give you the collar size in inches. The V-neck knitter jumpers are measured in chest sizes as well. However, they can come up fairly tight. So we would advise potentially ordering one size larger than you are in the blazer. So for example, if you're ordering a 32 inch in the blazer, you may want to order a 34 inch in the jumper. Girls' skirts are measured in waist size in inches and are available in different lengths. You do need to make sure the skirt comes just below the knee when it arrives as the school are quite strict on the length and this does allow room for growth as well. So to take the waist measurement, I'm going to show you this over the blazer, but obviously you would need to do this um, without the blazer on. So take this around your child's natural waistline, which is where the skirt would usually sit and that will give you the waist size in inches. And then for the length, take your tape measure to the top of where the skirt will sit, all the way down to where the skirt will finish. For boys' trousers, these come in different waists as well, and then different inside leg measurements. So for the waist, you need to take the measurement I've just explained, and for the inside leg, you just need to take the, measure, the tape measure just below the crotch, all the way down to where the, the trouser will finish. That tends to be where the top of the shoe would sit, but you may want to allow it longer so there's room for growth. Just a couple of more hints as well. When the blazer arrives, you do need to make sure the sleeve comes down to the knuckles to allow room for growth, and also make sure that it's not too tight on the shoulders. 